What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to talk about weapon changes coming to Destiny with the December patch. Now from day one in the Destiny world, playing that PvP I truly enjoyed. Back then auto rifles were the go to weapons, weapons like the Vanquisher, the Shadow Price, the Grim Citizen, the Suicide Regime, these weapons absolutely dominated PvP. Bungie noticed this and to be honest in my opinion screwed things up. The patch they dropped ruined auto rifles and I believe it was Bungie's intent to get other people to branch out and use different weapons to balance it out. But by trying to balance out PvP, PvP actually went to crap for me where people use three sorts of weapons, pulse rifles, hand cannons and shotguns. Although there was more of a mix up with weapons in that PvP, most of you are like me, who believe PvP ain't been the same since the Suicide Regime era, would tell you PvP has gotten worse and worse. Bungie saw this change and acted upon it with the Taken King patch, where shotguns, pulse rifles and hand cannons all received a nerf of some kind, while auto rifles received a slight buff. When I read the patch notes to this update, I actually got really excited for PvP post Taken King. When the Taken King did eventually hit, PvP was the first thing I tried out. And although I could feel a definite improvement in PvP while using auto rifles, they still in my opinion fell short of what pulse rifles offered. Pulse rifles are still the dominant go-to weapon in PvP, they really are. So I'm really excited to see changes are yet again inbound for our PvP arsenal. The latest weekly update states base changes that will be put in place in that December patch. So let's take a look at what's changing. And let's start with auto rifles. This is what Bungie have said about auto rifles and why they are changing. The 2.0 update brought auto rifles back into the competitive PvP spaces as an option. However, we find they are still occasionally losing to pulse rifles at close range. Based on that data, autos are coming up a tiny bit to help them fulfill their intended role. Bungie's goals on auto rifles are as follows. Auto rifles are optimal at close to medium range. Auto rifles can effectively compete against pulse rifles in PvP. The changes coming to auto rifles are as follows. Small increase in base damage. Low rate of fire auto rifles such as the Suicide Regime and Answering Cord get a 3% base damage increase. Medium rate of fire auto rifles such as the Zalo Supercell get a 7% base damage increase and high rate of fire auto rifles such as the Necrochasm get a 4% base damage increase. So the changes to auto rifles look promising and for sure it's heading in my opinion in the right direction and for me this is most important. I'd love for PvP and auto rifles to be at that level they first were but with the competitive aspects thrown in offered by pulse rifles and hand cannons. We can see on screen now changes coming to pulse rifles and the main change being that base damage getting a nerf. Although some may not agree with the change, I think it's definitely needed. Low, medium and high rate of fire pulse rifles will be getting around an 8-9% damage decrease. Which when worked out leads me to believe it will take an extra burst to kill a fully healthed guardian. The biggest change to a weapon class though is shotguns and in my opinion it will affect PvP the most. Shotguns have run rampant in PvP for far too long and they do have their own type of player now who will not like what's happening to them. On screen now we can see the changes coming to shotguns and they are pretty apparent. Changes coming are reduced starting damage fall off to match melee lunge ranges. Low range stat fall off starts as standard melee lunge. High range stat fall off starts at blink strike lunge. Final damage fall off distance extends to 0.5 meters longer for a smoother drop. Slower ready stall times for all shotguns, additional recoil across the entire stability stat range, lower reload speed across the entire reload stat range, slower time to aim down sights for all shotguns, slower base movement speed when shotguns are the active weapon, walk, run and aim down sight sprint is unaffected, add 2 frames delay when firing out of sprint, and increase base damage against AI combatants to 1.6 times was 1.5 so for sure shotguns have been affected the most 
during the process of this patch but do you guys think it's a good thing let me know your opinion down below in that comment section i definitely think it is for that all-round pvp experience now there are changes coming across the entire board which you can see via the updates which is linked at the top of that video description if you guys want to see if your favorite class of weapons has been affected in a positive or negative way but guys let me know your opinion on the changes coming to pvp with the december patch me personally i cannot wait for it hope you guys enjoyed the video do drop a like i do appreciate the support subscribe for daily destiny and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out till next time peace we all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many are the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Just need gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads, gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.